I used to eat bacon soda. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I know y'all probably like, she eating with her mouth open. Ew, that's so unladylike. I'm a man. A lot of y'all favorite YouTubers or YouTubers y'all watch are not who you guys really think they are. If Donald Trump sees this or Joe Biden or whoever's like, I'm sorry. I'm just a black bitch trying to make it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you spent this long for the gold fair. You know you watch this. <laughs> Let's go, 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 I said that like I don't do videos by myself. I do a lot of videos by myself, but I have never done a mukbang by myself. And I've told myself, I was like, dude, you're gonna do a mukbang by yourself. And I was like, I'm scared. What if, what if I don't flatter myself? What if I don't have anything to talk about? Like, what if I don't interest myself? Like, what if I run out of things to say to me? And then I'm just like, awkward. But this has been something that's been sitting on my mind and I've been very, very nervous. But I was just like, you know what? I'm on quarantine. I just spent like $30 on some food. That's a lot of money to me. So I might as well make it a video. I might as well give y'all some content. I might as well do the damn thing. I might as well do the damn dash, you feel me? So I was kind of hungry. Well, obviously I was hungry. That's why I ordered the food. But I was really hungry. So I was like, let me try something different. So me trying something different was I got jalapeno stuffers. Comment down below if you like spicy food. If you already tried this, don't spoil it for me. Don't tell me how it tastes. I'm saying that like the video ain't gonna be out before y'all comment, but still don't say nothing. I'm gonna treat this like it's a gourmet meal because I just spent $30, so I'm gonna explain to y'all everything. So this is a pizza. I do not eat meat. Sometimes I cheat a little bit and I eat a little seafood, but still that don't count. I have my little cheat days, but still I'm a vegetarian or a pescatarian. I really wanna say vegetarian and the only reason why I'm saying that is because I don't eat seafood often. So it's like, do it really count? It's like having a period. Like it come, I do it every once a month. So is it really like, I don't think it really matters. Y'all probably like, okay, you just say you don't eat meat. Why is that me and a piece of bait? Stop rushing me, I'm gonna explain. Um, some of it's for my crush. Okay, okay, I told y'all the truth. Some of it's for my crush. It's some of it's for my crush, guys. So I'm a very, very like adventurous eater. I would like to say some people call it disgusting, but I like what I like. Let me know if y'all eat these. I love these. When I was like a kid, I used to fight over who get the pepper in the box. She f***ed up my pizza. She f***ed up my pizza. Hold on. Because my part got pepperoni on it and I know I didn't. Ask her for that. I didn't ask for this. One thing about me, y'all, because I don't eat meat and I grew up in a black household, like if they made food with meat, with the dish, they were not willing to make mine without meat. So I freaking hate like picking meat or something out of my food. Like when I went vegetarian, nobody cared. They didn't care about me. But now I'm 19 and I could care for myself. So it hurts my feelings when somebody gets my order wrong and I gotta pick the meat out. <sighs> but oh yeah, let me ask y'all a question. What type of person are y'all? Because when people get my order wrong or like if I go out and they give me the wrong food, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna be grateful. I'm gonna eat it. If that's what you served me, even though I didn't ask for it, thank you. I appreciate it. But this, I, I don't, I don't appreciate it. Just looking at this, I almost said it makes me don't want to eat, but I'm lying, I'm still going to eat. If I wanted to pick the meat out of my food, I would have ordered it like that, bitch. I don't have time to waste. Time is money, and I already spent my money with y'all. So, anyway, I'm complaining like I was going to tell them to come get the pizza back. Can you do that? I'm pretty sure you can, but I've never done it before. I'm not equipped for those type of situations. Let me see if I like these. If you have braces, you know what that sound was, what I just did just now. I feel like y'all waiting on the reaction and it's making me very nervous. It tastes dry. And they did give me some sauce. This is very much black culture. I don't even have no napkins because why do I even need them? I could do this. Do y'all like ranch or blue cheese? I like ranch. For certain places, ranch and blue cheese taste different. So I think it's safer to go with the ranch. I'm gonna take my jalapeno stuff and dip it in the ranch and see if it gives it a little more sauce because that was dry. Mmm. They might have did the damn thing. They might have did the damn thing. They might have did the damn thing. This might. I gotta try one more. I know y'all probably like, 
She eating with her mouth open and ill. That's so unladylike. I'm a man. Oh man, I ain't get nothing to drink. Damn. I like this. I'm not gonna cap. It's not all that, but I will order it again. I like it. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Wow. Let's pretend that that didn't happen for the last eight minutes. My taste buds are different, so I like it, but I can see why somebody else wouldn't like it. Like, y'all understand? Like, do y'all ever see somebody who's, like, not attracted to you, but you can look at them and be like, this is kind of ugly, but I can see why people think this is kind of cute. Like, y'all understand what I'm trying to say? Mmm, I really like it. Where's my damn camera? Oh, what's up? Oh my god, guys, the whole time I've been looking over here, when y'all see me looking over here, I'm thinking my camera's over here, it's over here. I probably look stupid. But look. Hmm, I'm not I just want to say, if you're watching this video, I really appreciate you because I know I could be a very messy eater. Like, a lot of people don't like to really, well, the people in my inner circle, they tolerate it, but they don't really like to eat with me because I chew with my mouth open and my fingers are always really messy. But I'm the type of person, every time I eat, I eat at the table. And I know they can't stand my eating habit, but they love me, so they do it. But if you're new to the channel or if you've never seen me eat before, well, which no one has, y'all never seen me eat up close to person like this, and you're still watching the video, I appreciate you and I love you for accepting me for who I am. You're the best. So let me get into the mukbang for real. This video might get posted a long time from now, but during this time, it has been like over a week of dealing with the coronavirus. I'm not sure exactly what's going on in everybody else's states because I don't keep up with the news. Honestly, I feel like the news is a bunch of bullshit. Hey, don't fight me. And I feel like they want to worry us more and make us more scared than they're actually trying to help us. Watch the government take my video down. I'm sorry. If Donald Trump sees this or Joe Biden or whoever's like, I'm sorry. I'm just a black bitch trying to make it. I'm sorry. But yeah, I don't keep up with the news like that. But at least for the state of Florida, we are on quarantine. I do know that some places are on lockdown, but most of my news comes from like word of mouth, like people telling me things. I don't go searching for news myself. If it pops up on my timeline or if it's on the shade room, shout out to the shade room. Cause without y'all, I would be one lost so we have been on quarantine for over a week. And um, when you're doing a month, man, you eat much slower. Damn, I feel like I gotta keep y'all like company or something. Gosh, let me know if I do a month and I don't talk and I just eat. Are y'all still gonna watch? Cause I'll do that. I get real weird. I have a lot of weird fetishes and like weird things that I find interesting. There's this lady who does um mukbangs. Okay. Do y'all pronounce it mukbang or mukbang? I pronounce it mukbang. There's this lady who does, muk does mukbangs. Somebody's gonna know who I'm talking about. She starts her mukbangs off with the food being alive, like the fish or whatever she's eating. It's alive, and then she don't show her killing them. I don't think so. Maybe I'm, I'd be too scared and I skip that part. I don't know. But she doesn't talk. I don't think she talks in her mukbangs. At least when she's eating, she doesn't talk. So if I did that, let me know. If y'all watch, cause I find things like that interesting. I also find it interesting when people do like, um, like people who have pika and they eat like cornstarch and baking soda. I used to eat baking soda. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I used to love baking soda. I still do, but I had to stop. It was bad for me. People who have, um, who eat weird things, not weird things, cause I don't really think much is weird. I think people are just close minded. But people who eat like ice, cornstarch, baking soda, flour, I love it. I love the sounds. I love to see them do it. I like when it's messy, like. Like thinking about it, it just makes my mouth water. I'm so excited that I'm finally doing this mukbang because I was so nervous and now that I'm here, like I'm just so happy. Like I love you guys so much. Like I love my love bugs. Hashtag love bug. I just wanna put the hashtag on the screen. Hashtag love bugs. Hashtag I love my love bugs. This piece is kinda cold. It's not even that good. I'm not even gonna lie. And I know damn well this piece ain't get cold. From the five minutes it took me to set up my ring light and all that. So somebody at Papa John's is slacking and I wanna talk to them. I'm lying, I ain't gonna talk to nobody. I don't wanna eat my food and go. It just sounds good. I feel like this video is going to be very, very good for me to vent and let out my feelings. So I forgot to say what I'm going to say about quarantine, but mainly we've been on quarantine, we've been on lockdown, it's slowly been driving me crazy and it sucks because everybody's scared. I've seen a meme on Instagram that said, I'm normally a homebody, but since the government's telling me to stay home, now I want to go out. And I felt that. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, let me tell y'all what I hate. I hate people calling it the Rona. Stop calling it the Rona. That is not your homeboy, your homegirl, your auntie. Stop calling it the Rona. I don't like that. I address the coronavirus by her full name, his or her full name. See, I'm even respectful about the gender. The coronavirus. I don't want her to think we're cool because if she thinks that we're here, I'm sorry, he or she these are real cool they're gonna pull up on me no that is the coronavirus c-o-d-v-i-19 whatever the hell y'all calling it c-o-d hyphen 
whatever hashtag 19 i'm not gonna uh -uh. i don't remember what i was saying i have a really bad memory this is my second time doing a papa john's mukbang if you haven't watched the other mukbang that i did with papa john's go watch it now it's gonna be up there somewhere above my head hopefully i did it with my sister and my brother and in my opinion it was a pretty good video i want to know your opinion go watch it and tell me what you think finish this video and then go watch that one Mwah. but i just had my first online class ever since this whole epidemic was going on and i'm not gonna lie it was really lit like it actually had me thinking about what if I just do online classes? I'm not. I think it's healthy to get out the house. But I was like, damn, this kind of lit. Like, I could be on my phone. I could eat. All that. And they're going to think I'm paying attention. That's beautiful. And I had to do my online class. I made a salad. I was, like, eating stuff. I was in the fridge. I was having a blast. And I still managed to be interactive with the teacher. It was beautiful. What are you going to tell me? I can't eat in my house? How would you guys feel if I decided to do more mukbangs? What if my channel became primarily mukbangs? Not saying I'm going to do it, but I want to know your opinion. Let me know in the comment section. I also want to talk about my love life. Now I know y'all really going to get interested. Y'all probably just pulled up y'all seat and everything. A lot of people feel like me and Sydney go out. And can y'all stop spelling her name wrong? It's C-Y-D-N-E-Y. -E it's not that hard. Please. Please. Just spell it right. A lot of people feel like we go out. Uh, a lot of people like make a lot of accusations about the relationship saying that that's more than just my crazy blah, blah, blah. I should just stop the conversation right there so y'all could just be like, damn. <laughs> I just start the conversation right there and just leave y'all on the edge of y'all seat. I feel like, here's my thing. When it comes to relationships and things that you put on the media, you guys have to give people time to address certain situations. I'm not going to say that's my girlfriend or that's not my girlfriend, but I feel like when the time comes for me to say like, yeah, we go out, then you guys will know, yeah, we go out. But I feel like in the meantime, like, you guys have to understand that things are complicated. Okay, let's just let's just be honest. First of all, not saying we do or don't go out. Because I don't throw nothing on me. Because I never said we do or don't. Y'all can never say a lot to y'all. Y'all see a lot of YouTube relationships go public. And then it just ruins everything. Like, you guys have to understand that I do not want to be like these other people. If the relationship isn't working out, by all means, leave that bitch. Leave that nigga. I don't care. I support you. But it's like, for me, I don't want to be the person that has to come on here and say, this is why we broke up. I don't want to have to have a video that says this is why it ended no i don't want to be a part of that community that culture no i refuse to so whenever i decide to be like okay boom guys we go out blah blah whatever the case is just know that i was ready to make that stuff because the last last thing i want is to introduce her to you guys and then have to kick her out of the picture you feel me so i feel like that's something that you guys like everybody just has to understand like i'm taking my time we're taking our time with everything that's going on i just wanted to address that y'all gotta give people their time to do things you feel me y'all probably like just say y'all dating already just do it i'm not I'm not saying we are we are but i'm not don't put nothing on me babe because i ain't never said nothing guys i want to know this was not my picture this was her picture wow Almost ate a piece of meat. Too. Guys, I want to know what's your favorite piece of I used to like Domino's. And then when I was in high school, like me and my closest friends, we used to eat Domino's like every day. It was like right by where we used to be at all the time. And then I, I was like, damn, this shit kind of ghetto. I got to like level up. So I don't know what my favorite piece is no more. But my least favorite piece is Lil Caesar. I'm not going to lie to them. Lil Caesar be doing their thing sometimes. When it's hot and ready, it go crazy. But if it's not hot and ready, I don't want it. Hell no. <laughs> You know what? I don't even want that no more. But let's just pretend that didn't happen. You know, another thing I want to talk to y'all about, I want y'all opinion on something. This video is really about y'all because I want y'all opinion on a lot of things. Actually, I just love to hear from y'all in general. Y'all my love bugs, of course. How do y'all feel about YouTubers who come on YouTube and fake another personality just to get subscribers? I have an opinion on that. Like, I feel like a lot of y'all favorite YouTubers or YouTubers y'all watch are not who you guys really think they are. And I feel like some of you guys even know that. Like, y'all probably like, there's no way that this person can be this hype or this extra or even this entertaining in their everyday life. But y'all still watch them. So I want to know, how do you guys feel about that? Because when I first started YouTube, I said I'm going to be myself. I really thought that by being myself, I was like, they ain't going to like me. Because I'm not the most outgoing person. I was like, I never even imagined having a YouTube channel. So the fact that I'm here is amazing. But I used to be like, damn. At first, I was very against it. But then I started to feel like, damn. If you think about it, YouTube, for most people, is just entertainment. So the person that they're pretending to be and the persona they're putting on, shit, is entertaining y'all. So I guess they're doing something right. Me though, I'm, I'm, this is who, this is how I am in real life. I'm really just gay in person. Yes. Hold on. Are you gonna be in the mud bag or no? You gotta sit over here. She just comes and ruins my life. <laughs> okay, you, you just want to no, come on. Yeah. 
Are you serious? So now they just gonna be like, this bitch is crazy. She was just talking to a random voice in her house. I didn't do my nails. I don't wanna be in it. I hate when she does this. If she doesn't do her nails, she doesn't like being in the video. I hate that. I'm here. Are you gonna grab a chair? I got a chair too. Every time I try to not be a part of the ghetto, it just comes back. How was your guys' day? How's quarantine for y'all? When I dropped this video, I wonder if people are still going to be on quarantine. My tooth Probably because you're in vagina. I'm done. Ew. This shit nasty. It tastes like a box. No, it doesn't taste right. I'm going to keep eating though. I'm going to end this one on a motivational note. Honestly, guys, I never thought I was going to do YouTube because I'm that kid who's a little bit cool, but I'll probably sit in the back of the class and like talk to myself and just write poetry. So the fact that I'm doing this thing and you guys really f with me, it really means a lot. And I'm very <laughs> grateful for you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. I experienced so much anxiety being in front of the camera. Like right now, I'm very, very nervous like to even talk to you guys. So it's like amazing that you guys actually like me like niggas like me what the f like why do y'all like me that's so weird but thank you guys so much for being here anything you guys want to do like dead ass follow your heart because i would have never imagined being a youtuber i didn't think i was cool enough but i'm here though i'm here though i'm here uh I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know if y'all wanna see me do more mukbangs by myself. If y'all wanna see me do mukbangs with other people, let me know what type of mukbang. Remember to stay safe, stay protected, wear condoms, have safe sex. Um, Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna try to not get emotional. That pepper was so hot. I really don't like how this is. When I say my outro, can you cut the camera off? Because I'm not going to make it there. It's your girl, Najib. So keep doing high love. You feel me? Uh.